What's going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be part one of a three-part sport collection series where Andrew and myself are going to bowl on three completely different sport patterns. Today's video is on the 2021 PBA Viper oil pattern. Stay tuned after the intro. So like I said in the intro, we're going to be bowling on three completely different oil patterns over the course of the next three videos. Today's video is on the 2021 PBA Viper oil pattern. The next video, which comes out on Sunday, will be the 2021 Bear oil pattern. And then the following Thursday, the video is going to be on the 2021 PBA Shark oil pattern. But for this video, we're only going to focus on the Viper. Before I get into the details of this Viper oil pattern, I think it's important that we spend a little bit of time talking about the difference between a typical house shot like you see in league and these PBA sport patterns. Now, the absolute biggest difference that you're going to see in these sport patterns versus the typical house shots is the ratios. The ratio on house shots are very high, like 7 to 1, 8 to 1, 9 to 1. So what that means is that there's a lot of oil in the middle part of the lane and not a lot of oil on the outside part of the lane. Typically what happens on these house shots is that when you miss right for a righty, the ball will hook and go through the pins. And then if you miss left into the oil, the ball won't hook and it'll just still get to the pocket. On these sport shots, the ratios typically are much, much less. So that if you miss right, the ball isn't gonna hook a whole lot. And when you miss left, it's gonna take off because you don't have the amount of volume that you normally have. So let's talk about this brand new 2021 PBA Viper oil pattern. Like Viper patterns of old, this pattern is on the shorter side. It is 36 feet, but the volume on this pattern is extremely high. It is 30 and a half mils which is a lot of oil, especially for a shorter oil pattern. And the ratio being three to one is on the more wide open side of the sport patterns. Typically you, you see them a lot into like the two to ones, even one to one sometimes. If you guys like this video and like the content that I'm creating, I would super appreciate if you hit that like button, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date every time I drop a new video. It helps me a ton the more you guys hit that like button and the more you guys hit that subscribe button. I finally got approved to join the Amazon affiliate program, which is very exciting news for myself. So down below in the description, I'm going to leave links to everything that I use to make this videos from the camera that's in front of me all the way down to the chamois on the lanes. So head on over to that description and click some of these links so you can check out the products that I'm using. So one big way that we try to get lined up on these PVA patterns is the rule of 31. So if you don't know what the rule of 31 is, basically you take the length of the pattern minus 31 and that is where you want your ball to be at the end of the pattern. And this is just a starting guide. This isn't an exact where you absolutely have to be. The lane surface, the type of ball that you're using and your rev rate will dictate a lot of where you will play on the lane. So as an example, the Viper pattern is 36 feet. So you take 36 feet minus 31 is five. So that is ideally where you want your ball to be at the end of the pattern. So the goal for Andrew and I when filming this video and anytime we bowl on these PBA patterns is to break them down to a point where they become easy. Now they're never going to be easy. They're still going to be very hard, but if you break them down the wrong way, these patterns can go from very hard to damn near impossible. For us in this video, we wanted to play them as straight as possible and then move in together the way the pattern broke down in this video was an absolute best case scenario. Let me know down below in the comments if you guys have ever bowled on some of these PBA patterns and what you think about them compared to the typical house shots. In this video, Andrew and I threw a couple of different bowling balls, but the goal was the same, like I said, was to try to play them a little bit straighter. I started with a desert tank and then transitioned into a venom shock. And then from the venom shock, I went into the fatal venom. Andrew started with a Venom Shock, but it was quickly too much ball on the fresh. Then he went into the Fatal Venom, and then again, it was too crispy in the back part of the lane. So then he actually went to a Thrill with a little bit of surface, and it looked absolutely amazing. Then from the Thrill, he went to the Forge Fire, and then from the Forge Fire to the Venom Shock, from the Venom Shock to the Fatal Venom. I'm going to take you guys on in the lanes now so you can see Andrew and myself progress through this PBA Viper oil pattern. Thank you guys for joining Andrew and myself as we navigate through this extremely tough Viper pattern. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is deciding what bowling ball you're ultimately going to go with. Before we started recording, Andrew and myself had about five minutes of warm-up time. And in this warm-up, 
we wanted to get into a bowling ball that will allow us to play the straightest through the front while minimizing the amount of down lane reaction that the bowling ball is going to give us. This pattern is already short. It is 36 feet. That means that there is 24 feet of dry boards in the back part of the lane. So starting with something with polish or something that's too responsive to friction on the fresh is not a very good idea because the ball is going to want to boom off the back part of the lane. Now, as soon as we decided that we were going to bowl on Viper, for me personally, I already knew that I was going to start with the Desert Tank. It is a ball that I super match up with on a ton of different patterns, and I know that it's a ball that I'm going to be able to keep in front of me and not have to worry about so much about it booming down lane. Andrew, in practice, tried to start with the Venom Shock, but the problem for him with the Venom Shock on this pattern is that it was just a little too much ball for his rev rate, so it forced him to be a little bit too far left so if he missed right, it would never see the pattern. And then if he missed left, because it is a short pattern, it would hook a ton. And then when he went to the Fatal Venom, it was just way too responsive to the friction, which is why he started wrapping a lot of 10 pins. Ultimately, Andrew and I both settled in into me, the Desert Tank, and him, the Thrill, with a little bit of surface. Now, if you don't think that this Thrill is an absolute bang for your buck, I mean, it is crazy. Andrew is throwing a $80 bowling ball on a PBA Viper pattern and making them look really, really easy. And I can assure you 100% that these patterns are not easy. One thing for me in re-watching this video is that for me personally, I think I could have gone with a little bit more surface on the Desert Tank and a little bit straighter, meaning playing more up the lane. In this video, I had the Desert Tank at about a 2,000 finish, and I'm really thinking I could have gone down to like a 1,000 and then, like I said, instead of creating that little bit of a belly, I could have moved a little bit right and played more up the lane. This pattern has a lot of volume, so that's why some of my misses right. Andrew is extremely accurate, so he never misses right, geez. But for me, my misses right with the Desert Tank, the ball had no chance at getting back to the pocket, which is why I left a lot of 210 combinations. I also wish that I would have thrown the Forge Flare on this pattern, to be honest. The amount of volume that this pattern has, and with how strong that Forge Flare is, I really think that I could have really matched up with it, uh, maybe even a little bit better on the fresh. But hey, that's the hard part of bowling. Andrew and I both committed to the Desert Tank and the Thrill on the fresh, and ultimately, I really believe that both of them looked really good. Now, we're gonna make our first ball changes. Andrew went to the Forge Fire, and I went to the Venom Shock. And this Forge Fire for Andrew was silly the first ball went brooklyn and then he made a little bit move uh inside with a little bit of surface on the port fire and this ball looked absolutely amazing in this transition i really wonder what this ball would have looked like on the fresh for him and then the venom shock for me looks really really good now that i can get a little bit further left and create a little bit more shape through the front part of the lane i think that the reason that both of these bowling balls look so good was because Andrew and myself did a really good job at breaking down this pattern the right way. Like I said earlier, if you break down these patterns the wrong way, they can get really, really hard and make it very hard to strike. You never wanna feel like you have to hit one exact board down lane, or if not, you're not gonna strike. So once the pattern gets to the point that it's at right now, it's all about chasing the pattern inside as it continues to break down and making sure that you're in the right ball. Me being in the Venom Shock, I could definitely stay in this a lot longer than Andrew can stay in this Forge Fire. But for that brief amount of time that Andrew was in the Forge Fire, it looked absolutely amazing. Now, the one thing that you do have to remember as well is that we are bowling all these games on the same lane. Typically, when you're at a tournament, when they have these patterns out, you're, you're not gonna run into your own transition. You're gonna be following other people's transition. So it's very important to look at the bowlers around you to see where they are playing the lanes. That way you don't miss the transition. And again, that is the very hard part about bowling tournaments on these patterns. If you're bowling a tournament on a house shot, you don't have to pay attention as much to where the other bowlers on other pairs are bowling. One thing that I should have mentioned when Andrew and I ball changed is that the reason that we balled up as we moved left, meaning Andrew went from the thrill to a much stronger forge fire, and I went from a desert tank to a much stronger venom shock, 
is because you still want to make sure that the ball will come around the corner. If Andrew and myself keep chasing the thrill and the desert tank in, the ball will never see it because of the amount of volume in the middle part of the lane. But if we stay right, because we've developed that friction, the ball is gonna hook a ton. So you wanna make sure that when you're chasing the pattern left, you're into a ball that's strong enough to battle that oil in the middle, but still come around the corner, which is why he chose the Forge Fire and I chose Venom Shock. And then ultimately we both went to the Fatal Venom to finish this off. Now the reason both Andrew and myself went to the Fatal Venom from the Venom Shock is because both of us were seeing a lot of early hook. So we wanted a ball that was gonna be a similar shape to the Venom Shock, but was gonna be a little bit longer to get through that early friction and still make the corner down lane. And like I've said about the Fatal Venom is that it is a true pearl version of the Venom Shock. So to me, if you need something like the Venom Shock, but that's gonna be a little bit longer and a little bit more angular, this Fatal Venom is the absolute right ball for both of us in this situation. Be on the lookout for my next couple videos where Andrew and myself are gonna bowl on the 2021 PBA Bear and the 2021 PBA Shark Oil Pattern. Well, there you have it, folks. There's Andrew and myself's analysis of the brand new 2021 PBA Viper oil pattern. Let me know down below in the comments what you thought about this video. And if you want to see more videos like this on some of these PBA patterns, which are, again, a lot tougher than the typical house shots. Click right here to watch one of my other videos. Click right here to subscribe. Till next time, guys.